Hello everybody, nice to see you again. We are going to study animals and plants in nature and we have to deal with vegetation, aquatic animals and terrestrial animals. Let's start! We are going to study vegetation now. Plants are affected by the climate, the relief, the humidity and the soil in the place where they grow. Vegetation is all the plants in an area, region or country. Forests, shrubland, grassland and deserts are areas with different types of vegetation. Forest A forest is an area where many trees grow close together. Forests need good conditions such as high humidity and fertile soil. Shrubland A shrub is a bush. Shrubland is an area dominated by bushes. Bushes grow in places with poor soil and low humidity. Sometimes, after a very long period of time, shrubland can grow into a forest. Grass Grassland is an area dominated by grasses. Trees and bushes are scarce. Grasslands are found in places with long periods of drought where forests cannot grow. In Africa, grasslands are called savannas. Desert A desert is an area with arid soil and very little water. There are very few plants. Cactuses grow in deserts because they need very little water. They store water in their stems. Temperatures can be very high during the day and very low at night. Let's go now with the aquatic animals. Aquatic animals spend most of their lives in water. Many aquatic animals breathe in oxygen from the water through gills. Others come to the surface of the water to breathe in air through lungs. Here you are some marine animals. Marine mammals, reptiles and seabirds breathe through lungs. And a very interesting thing is that some fish emit their own light. Other aquatic animals live in fresh water such as rivers or lakes. Okay, you can see reptiles, birds, mammals. A very interesting thing is that skaters live and glide on the surface of the water. And finally terrestrial animals. Terrestrial animals live on land. The majority breathe in oxygen from the earth through lungs. In this drawing you can also see mammals, birds, bats, which is another mammal, a flying mammal. And a very interesting thing is that many animals live in tunnels underground. And also snakes haven't got legs, for example, they have to slither. Finally, field guys. Field guides are books that help us to identify different types of animals according to their size, shape and color. Most field guides have the same structure, the name of the animal, the group it belongs to, a description with the characteristics, food and habitat of the animal, drawings and photos to help you recognize the animals. And this is the end of the lesson, students. I hope you enjoyed and remember, you can ask me any question and you can watch the video as many times as you need.